Good morning, Lisa. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, Dad. Marcus is back at school today. He is finally healthy again. I'm happy to hear that. So we don't have to worry anymore? I don't think so. Very nice. Then have fun at school today. Thank you, Dad. Have fun at school, Marcus. Thank you, Dad. Please be careful and take care of yourself. I'm going to do that. What did the doctor say? I'm not supposed to exercise. Otherwise, I can do anything. Please watch your heart. I died of worry. I'll do that. Don't be afraid, Dad. Hi, Marcus. How are you doing? I still feel a bit weak. But now that I see you, I'm fine. Does your heart still hurt? Sometimes it still hurts a bit. Do you need to go back to the hospital? No, I don't think so. Let's go in. Mr. Coons is certainly happy to see you again. Hi, Sarah. Hey, Marcus. You're finally back. We've already missed you. Thanks again for your help. You really are the best. No problem. We're always here for you. We need to go in. Classes start soon. Good morning, dear students. Welcome back, Marcus. We're happy that you're healthy again. I have a surprise for you today. We have a new student. That's Julius. He changed schools. Hi guys. I'm looking forward to the school year with you. I already know a few of you. Julius? What are you doing here? I go to school here. What are you really doing here? I know your secret, Marcus. I don't know what you mean. A broken heart? 
You've outdone yourself this time. What do you want? I want 500 euros in cash. Otherwise, I'll tell Lisa the truth. You've got until tomorrow. Hi, Marcus. Do you have my money? I need a little more time, Julius. I gave all my money to the doctor. You've had enough time. How much longer do you need? I still need two days. Hi, Lisa. Hey, Julius. Hey, Marcus. How are you doing? I need to tell you a secret. What kind of a Giaminis? I'll tell you in two days. Okay. Dad, can I ask you a question? Marcus, of course, you can ask me anything. How can I help you? Can you lend me money? That depends. How much money do you need? I need 500 euros. What? 500 euros? What do you need so much money for? I can't tell you that. But it is very urgent. I don't understand that. Why don't you tell me what you need the money for? The money isn't for me, it's for a friend. It is really urgent. Please help me, Dad. The whole thing sounds a bit strange, Marcus. I won't give you any money. But what about your piggy bank? There should still be enough money in there. I've already spent that. What did you spend the money on? I'll tell you about that later, Dad. I have to go to school now. Hello, Julius. Hi, Marcus. What does it look like? Where is my money? I've almost got it. I just need another 200 euros. But I want 500 euros, not 300 euros. Please give me another day. I'll give you time until tonight. That's when Lisa finds out your secret. Please don't do that. Hi, Lisa. How are you doing? Hey, Julius. Hey, Marcus. 
I'm doing fine. What secret did you want to tell me, Julius? I'll tell you tonight, okay? Yes, of course. I'm already looking forward to it. Is everything okay with you, Marcus? You look kind of concerned. Yes, it's all good. Don't worry about me, Lisa. I want the money now, Marcus. Here it is. Thank you. It's always nice doing business with you. Hey Julius. What are you doing here? I'm here to tell you a secret. Tell me. Marcus was never ill. Not even when he was in hospital. Excuse me? No, that can't be true. He bribed the doctor to join in. Here are photos of the two of them. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. So Marcus lied again? He is a liar and will never change. Thanks for the honesty, Julius. Hello, Marcus. Hey, Lisa. Shall we go out for an ice cream after school today? No, absolutely not. I don't want anything to do with you anymore. What did I do wrong? You know that very well. You lied to me again. I won't forgive you this time. Good luck to you, Marcus. He's already done enough work. I'm really mad. Is it because of Marcus? Yes. He lied to me again. You simply can't trust him. I won't make that mistake again. I believe you. It's best I just ignore him. That is a good idea. So you're not together anymore? Absolutely not. I don't want to be with a liar. I can understand that. Doesn't matter. Don't let any more time be wasted with him. I want to forget Marcus as soon as possible. Why don't we do something together after school? That might distract you. That would be great. Thank you, Sarah. 
You're a really great girlfriend. No problem, Lisa. That's what friends are for. Shall we go in? Lessons are about to start. Yes, let's go in. Good morning, dear students. Because today we are dealing with a very important topic. But where is Marcus? Why isn't he here? Have any of you seen him? I spoke to him yesterday. But you haven't seen him yet today? No, not yet. That is weird. I'll call his dad. Yes, hello? Weaver here. Hello, Mr. Weber. It's Mr. Coons. Hello, Mr. Coons. What can I do for you? Can you tell me where Marcus is? He is not in school. How he is not in school? He left home 30 minutes ago. He said that he goes to school. So he's not here. Just wait a minute. I'll locate his cell phone. Where are you, Marcus? What are you doing at the train station? Marcus is at the train station, Mr. Coons. Marcus is at the train station? What is he doing there? I'm going to find him. Are you coming along, Sarah? Of course. Lisa, what are you doing here? The question is what are you doing here, Marcus? It's none of your business. Leave me alone. Tell me. You owe me that. I'm going out of town. Why? I've disappointed everyone I care about. I have nothing to do here anymore. Where do you want to go? I'm going to Munich. Stay here, Marcus. Everyone will give you another chance. But you've got to start being honest. Okay, I'll stay here. Thank you, Lisa. Where does Marcus want to go? A. Berlin. B. Dresden. C. Munich. Write a comment.